Hi everyone, this is just a natural glowy makeup look that I filmed for all you people that like natural makeup. First I just take the P. Louise Base Shade 5 and mix it with some of my moisturiser, which is Simples Moisturiser in Light to make a BB cream. I then put some of MAC Strobe Cream on, which I should have done before I put the BB cream on, but I forgot, so I just put this on top. Now I take my concealer and just put a little bit under my eyes to brighten that eye area up and get rid of any dark circles. Also make sure you blend it in after into your foundation or BB cream so there's no harsh lines. Now I'm just taking a pressed powder to set my under eyes and my T-zone where I can get oily. Now it's time for contour, so I used a cream contour today, so it looked natural, and I used my P. Louise brush, contour brush. At the start I thought, oh, it's not really blending that well, because it was so soft, but in the end it did. It gave it that seamless contour blend, but you can still see the contours there, not taking it away, which I really did like. Always do your jawline as well, so... It creates that sharpness effect of your face shape. Now you can just set the cream contour with a matte bronzer and leave it and not put blusher on. But I know some people do like putting bronzer as blusher so you can just leave it here and not put any blusher on. But I do like to have colour in my skin so I look glowy. I'm just using P. Louise's blusher in Glow For Me Baby. I'm not sure if this is one of her older products or newer products as this was sent out to me for free as my parcel went missing. But I did really love this as it had a glowy tinge to it. I'm now taking Max Pigmented Melon. I like using this when I'm tanned. If you have dark skin or tanned skin, I feel like this is a really good highlighter for you as it's orange toned and some highlighters can be white toned so it can wash you out. This will give a really natural glowy look to the skin. I'm just curling my eyelashes now. This is a must for me as it really makes my eyelashes look very long. Always groom your brows, brush them out before you put any eyebrow product on as you will have excess product from powder, foundation, all that stuff. So make sure you get that off with a brow groomer, spoolie, before you add your brow products. So I was actually just going to fill in a gap that I have from over plucking from when I was younger, but I decided to lightly fill in all of my brows except from the front bit as I didn't want it to look blocky I just wanted it to look really really natural and just add a bit of colour because my eyebrows are quite fair if I don't tint them I'm now just taking another highlighter as the MAC Melon was too orangey for the inner corner and we just want to open that in a corner of our eyes up to make us look more awake and even more glowy. I always like to waft my setting spray in so it dries. Just add in MAC Well Lip Liner now. Some of us are not blessed with fuller lips so we have to overline them, hence why this is taking me quite long. Just add in Max Peach Blossom Lipstick. You can leave it at this stage as this lipstick is like a lip gloss or you can go in with a lip gloss on top to really make them lips look fuller. 
I use peaches and creams lip gloss in Cherub today. This is the end look now. I really did love this look. I'd wear this makeup look if I was on holiday at night time as it felt like I had nothing on my skin.